Hello, in this video we'll be talking about the route transformation as found in the toolbox under the transformation section. The route transformation is a data set transformation that takes a single data set and it splits it into multiple data sets. Uh, in fact, it takes a record from, uh, a, a from a source data set and routes it depending on certain logic defined within this uh, box here. So, for example, we have a list of contexts here as our source. If I preview the data, you can see I have a bunch of data here, uh, first name, middle name, last name, and so on and so forth. Um, in the route, I'm going to take this data and based on an expression that I write, route it to one of three destinations. Uh, either the first name starts with the letter A, and I define that in an expression I wrote. I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, or the last name starts with the letter A, uh, or neither one of these conditions is true and it falls through the default node. So here you'll notice that we have one input node and multiple output nodes. Uh, there is at least always the default um, node along with the input node and one other expression node that's defined once we uh, edit the properties. Um, so the record can flow to any one of three uh, destinations, uh, out, subsequent destinations or transformations after the route. Uh, it actually can flow to all three of them and I'll show you that with the properties we can change. But just know that the record is flowing from the source through this action uh, to one of the destinations. So for example the output node first name starts with A and if I look at the properties I can see that I have two uh, records that for their first name starts with A. Um, if I look at the uh, the data coming out of the last name starts with A and view that data you can see that I have all the records where the last name starts with A. And if I look at the third data set, which is the default condition, which means that none of the first two were met, I will see all of the data where the first, neither the first name nor the last name uh, begins with the letter A. So, um, to, so now I'll show you exactly how we configure the uh, route to come up with this uh, example. So if I double click or right click and select properties, that'll, uh, shoot, that'll bring up the properties editor. The first screen, of course, is the layout screen. And uh, here you'll notice that we have a uh, flat layout uh, and we have several different columns for the layout. One thing to notice about the route is that uh, you'll notice that the input here, which was defined, uh, you can define it either in the editor properties editor or the standard uh, creation through the diagram either through auto map or by dragging and dropping onto the new member. Uh, but one thing you'll notice is that the input has the exact same layout as uh, all of the outputs and they're actually exact mirrors of one another. So so if I modify the input, let's say that I take the uh, or I, I delete phone from here, you can see phone is in both the uh, the input as well as the output there. If I delete phone from the input, remove element, you can see that I've also removed it from all of the output nodes. There is no longer any phone in the layout. Likewise, if I add a new element, let's add this one again, suffix, and you should say suffix underscore one, I will see that element uh, in the each of the output uh, nodes as well. So just know that all of the uh, output nodes have the exact same layout uh, as the input load node. So let me undo there so I can get back my original data set. Phone, okay. Um, and now let me go back to the properties and to the next screen. On this screen is where we actually configure how we route records uh, through the diagram. So notice that um, we have the first name starts with a uh, rule and this, uh, we have a grid at the top and the rule editor here at the bottom. I can change which editor, which rule I'm editing by clicking on a different row in the grid. And the grid contains uh, the name of the rule, the expression uh, that's used within the rule, and whether or not it's active or not. Um, once I click on it and I want to edit it, I just simply uh, start editing the controls down here, uh, including changing the name of the rule here, 
uh, the expression that I want to use here and I can just start typing uh, for example if I want to rewrite this one starts with and just write a valid expression uh, actually first name and and um, I can actually and I can also use the expression editor to do that as well so uh, once I have this all uh, filled out I now have two output ports corresponding to each row in my rules grid and I can add and remove that by the controls here in the middle so clicking on this new uh, this, this little green plus with a little blue box here this will add a new row in the grid and here you see the default value rule 3 I can change that new rule and then add uh, some sort of expression to uh, determine you know what uh, what, what how this uh, rule should be followed or what the logic for the rule is I should say now that I have this I can select OK or I can delete uh, an existing rule and now I only have two rules again and once I do that I'll change the uh, actual output of the uh, of the route but the layout remains exactly the same so I'm going to go ahead and undo here and show one one more thing about the route uh, here I undid it back to the other original configuration here um, is that there was one other property we didn't go over and that is the uh, the follow only first match rule and what this means is is that uh, by default this is checked and if I check this only if a name shows up if, an, if, a, if a record matches a rule it will follow this output rule so whichever rule is first if it evaluates to true it'll go ahead and follow this route and end up in this data set even though the the record also matches the second rule it will it will not follow that that uh, this logic path because it already matched the first one here so for example if I look at my data set the first name starts with a you'll see that we have two records here including one Amy Alberts um, but if I look at the second data set you can see that there's no Amy uh, Alberts and to help uh, visualize that. I'm going to go ahead and just run this filter which just looks for Amy and you'll see that the command did not generate any records whereas this one it found Amy Alberts uh, no problem. If I go back and modify that uh, that follow only first match rule and uncheck it you'll see how that changes the result of the route. So if I look here it still shows up under first names that start with A uh, but it also shows up under last names that start with A because it also matches uh, that logic. Okay, so to to use the route, uh, simply and let me go ahead and copy this one here from this example. So to use the route, it's as simple as let me take these destinations with me too. Uh, you go to the toolbox under the route uh, node in the toolbox drag and drop onto the diagram this will create a blank uh, default route configuration here you, as you can see we have the one input with a new member node element underneath it <coughs> and the default output node so uh, right away I'm gonna I'm gonna build my layout layout and to do that I'm just gonna in this case I'm just gonna auto map because I'm gonna take every single field from the source I need not do that I can have a I can have a different layout than the source but in this case I'm just gonna leave it the same um, and now I'm gonna configure my outputs so I'm gonna go and click on add new rule I'm gonna say rule one and and write an expression so I'm gonna say it starts with uh, actually the first name starts with a compile add a new rule last name I'm just going to leave it rule 2 for now and last name oops sorry we'll use the starts with again last name and a okay 
And now that I have that, both of these are active. The This checkbox is checked, so it'll only go through one path. I click OK, and now I have the two roles in addition to the default one. So rule one is going to be my first name, starts with A. Uh, rule two is going to be my last name, starts with A. Mark, map that there. And anything that not matching rules one or two, I'm going to put in this uh, bucket data set here, which will catch everything else. Okay, and now I have three diff distinct uh, data sets uh, being split from the original data set based on logic I defined in the route. Uh, and that's how you use the route in Centerprise.